I haven't uploaded a video on one of the main reasons I went out west this time. It was to go to Arizona, but more specifically to go to Quartzsite. I had heard a lot about Quartzsite. I did not know if I would like it because I knew it was going to be crowded, and sometimes I can tend to be a loner, but I loved it at Quartzsite. Of course, I was out there in January, so I got to go to the RTR and go to some of the talks at the RTR. I went to the opening, and I went to listen to Bob Wells' philosophy at the RTR. Now, we sat up on Plumosa Road on BLM land, and I felt like I had a little oasis there with my little trailer and my day tent set up. Out there, had lots of time for coffee, sat around and drank a lots and lots of coffee. We also, every night, I would build a fire. I had brought a lot of firewood out with me, but it was new firewood, so we bought some um, seasoned wood. And then I had my fat lighter splinters there to help start the fire that my son had cut for me. So we enjoyed a fire most nights out at Quartzsite. And we had friends around the campfire. Here's Danny and then Charlene beside me there on the left that came out west with me from the east. And then Christine over on my uh, the other side i had been talking to christine online for over a year so i finally got to meet her at quartzsite we had other people that we um camped with out there charlene knew november and then they knew ronnie and ronnie had mike they had never been camping that came out and then danny knew mary so we had a crowd here this night we went over to enjoy their fire so we sat around their fire, had lots of laughs, and had lots of talking, and trying to take a picture, trying to take pictures of the group. We just had a lot of fun, and Mike had never camped, and he said he, said he thought he liked camping. So that was one great thing about being out there, was making the connections with people. And I didn't think I'd like desert camping, but it wasn't like I thought. We had mountains in the background. I thought of the desert as just sand, but the mountains were pretty in the background. Of course, there was still a lot of sand and dust. But another thing, being out there in the open, you see lots and lots of sunrises because I wake up before the sun comes up every morning, so I saw lots of sunrises. And on the flip side, saw lots of sunsets. I was constantly taking pictures of the sunrise and the sunsets because it just seemed like they kept getting prettier and prettier every day. I'd say, did you see that sunrise or did you see that sunset? And another thing I had never seen because I live in the trees, I had never seen the moon rise. So we, I was fascinated by the new moon rising. And then when I looked through my pictures, I found that I had lots of pictures with my feet propped up in different places in my van. I had my feet propped up, and I usually had a cup of coffee beside me. So I, got, I laughed when I went back through the pictures. I said, I sit around a lot with my feet propped up. But it was just so relaxing out there. If we weren't out talking to some friends, we were just hanging out and, and just relaxing out there in the desert. And then I, um, I was able to put my hammock up. I only need one tree. So I had one tree. I, I parked where I'd have that one tree because I put one side up to my, um, on my roof rack. So I had my one tree and then my roof rack. So I got to enjoy my hammock. I really like being able to put it up. More coffee. I told you I, I took pictures of my coffee cup because I was drinking a lot of coffee. Another thing I did I hadn't done in ages, I was putting a puzzle together. And then Danny and I went over to Joshua Tree. I had it outside in the wind one day, and it blew apart, so I just threw it away. And Christine was uptown at an RV park. She invited Danny and I to come over to use the hot tub, and boy, did we jump at it. We felt like we had a spa day. This Mexican truck, I ate at it two days for lunch. The food was fabulous here at this little food truck. I had quesadillas both times because I had had them the first time and I knew they were good, so I had them a second time. 
good fresh food. Then Danny and I went to the yacht club, the Quartzsite Yacht Club. And I had, I told, told her the best barbecue sandwich I had ever had. But about two-thirds way through the meal, I realized the irony of being at a yacht club in the desert. And Danny got a really good laugh on that. Then, of course, we ate at Silly Owls. It was supposed to be really good pizza, and it was. It had really big chunks of vegetables on it. But Danny and I, our eyes was bigger than our stomach. We ordered the mega pizza, so we had leftover pizza for days. Then November was a vet, so we got invited to the VFW club. We sat out on the porch, had lots of good laughs, and had a good good visit at the VFW club. Then I rode a camel. You could ride a camel in Quartzsite for $10. So I had to go out and ride the camel. Now this camel I rode, he was wide, he or she. So after riding around one time and the little guy lead me, got my picture, I told him, I said, you don't have to take me back around. It was a bumpy, bumpy ride, and my legs were hurting. And so I said, I've had enough of the ride. And so I also went over to the High Jolly Cemetery, named after a man that was brought as a camel herder in the United States short-lived camel corpse. And he had the memorial there is to High Jolly, and the cemetery is named after High Jolly. I took some side trips from Quartzsite. I went up to Lake Havasu to the Balloon Festival. I also went up there and kayaked under the London Bridge. That was the neat thing about being in Quartzsite. We branched out and did our own things, and then we all met together at the campfire. So it was just a really laid-back time. Did a lot of cooking at Quartzsite, made some new friends, just had a great time. Did I like Quartzsite? Yes. Will I go back to Quartzsite? I plan to go back to Quartzsite next year. It's a great way to spend the winter. Like and subscribe. Bye.